Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven again. I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing the steps that I took to create these rollover buttons. So to start off, I'm going to make a new document. It's going to be 255 pixels wide by 42. Click OK. And now I'm going to make a new layer. And in this layer, I'm going to just fill it with white dirt, just so you can see it, this blue color. And then double click this to come into the blending options and check gradient overlay. And in here, we're going to make a new color. So let's start by making some sort of a green. That's good. And then copy this number over to here and paste it in there and then let's make it a tad bit darker okay now let's see what that looks like let's reverse it so the darker side on the bottom so it looks like it's beveled out at you and that's good okay now this is how I made those those semi tilted lines I'm going to start by making one line here whatever thickness you like that's probably good and I'm going to fill it with white or it doesn't matter right now I'm going to drag it over deselect it hold down alt and shift and drag it over drag it over again again and then I'm going to select all of these hold down alt and shift drag that over Select all those, Alt and Shift, and drag that over. And now I'm going to select every other one. So we get kind of a, uh, a jail, what, jail gate effect. <laughs> so every other one is deleted. Just select every other one, click Delete. Okay, now select this first one and this last one, and click Control E. And it's going to combine them all into one layer. Now click Control T, and that's the free transform tool. And let's rotate these slightly and extend them out. You can slide it over a bit. That's probably good. And now let's double click on here. And let's do this gradient overlay. Select this first color, and let's paste in that green color that we had, and let's make it slightly lighter. Same with this. We're gonna make this one even lighter. Let's see what that looks like. That looks good. And I think I added a outer glow, but lowered the opacity. Okay, and now let's lower this opacity. Or we could even try it on overlay. That's good enough. Now let's make a new layer. And this is going to be our text. So click once. And we're going to write home. And let's just make it Arial for now. Just something that everyone has. And you can change it later to whatever you like. And... Let's make it so the so it fits. Oops. Um, I used home, about, and contact. Okay. So I'm gonna select on this Alt Shift, Alt Shift, and just gonna space it by eye. Home, about, and contact. Okay. Now it looks like our text is a little bit too big, so let's bring us down to probably 18. Same here. Okay. Now let's take the contact and let's bring it over a little bit so it's about the same distance away from this end as the home is going to be from this end. So about like that. So let's click both of these. 
all, I mean all three of these and select this so it spaces them evenly apart. It looks like we did a good job. Okay, now let's make the spacers in between it. There's, if you, you can't see it on this, but on the final product, you could see that there was a certain space that said, you know, that gave its own look for between the buttons. It made it look like there was, <laughs> I don't know how to word it, but you'll see. Let's start by going down to here, make a new layer and come over to here and select the line tool we can zoom in hold down shift and drag it down Oops, let's change this to one pixel hold down shift and drag this down I made it too short oh make sure this first one is selected and then drag it down there you go perfect now Come down to this uh, to these effects. Hold down Alt and select this FX and drag it to here. Now double click here. Come down to gradient and click on reverse. Okay. And now let's zoom out. Hold down Alt and Shift, drag it over, and that looks good. Um, we could try one thing. We sh could combine these. Control E. Zoom out a bit. And let's make a new layer mask. Okay, make sure your colors are black and white. We're going to select about to here. And then I'm going to gradient and make sure it's a. Uh, let's make it a black to nothing gradient, okay? Hold on shift and drag. Maybe from about here. Okay, and deselect. So now it kind of fades into it. Could probably go even further down. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's do this. Let's select this layer. Zoom in a bit. Hold on Alt and Shift, and let's drag it over, and just line it up so it's even with the line right before it. Now double click it, come into Color Overlay, and let's make it that green that we originally had, but lighter. Okay, okay, zoom out, and that looks very nice. Let's come over to this to the font and let's just give it a quick coloring. Color gradient overlay. We're gonna go from light gray, very light gray on top, and slightly darker on the bottom. Okay, now hold on Alt and drag up the FX. Doesn't look very nice, but you can mess with it more later. Um, so you could save it. Let's just put it on my desktop and name it, uh, whatever, button. Okay, now let's select all of this actually, except for the background layer, and drag it into a folder. And we'll name this normal. Make a copy of that folder and name it rollover. Let's extend this and double click on this background layer. And all I'm going to do is come over to the gradient and uncheck reverse. So now it kind of looks like it's sloped downwards. I'm going to come over to this home and add a slight drop shadow to it. Let's bring down the opacity and the distance to about two um, size we'll put on two as well and that's good hold on alt grab the effects and put it on all of them and there you go normal we'll hover it over and now let's just add some guidelines to if, uh, to get it ready for slicing 
drag this out to about here. This one out to about here. You can zoom out, and that's it for now. I hope this touched something, and remember, if you have any tutorial or anything you want me to do a tutorial on, just put it in my comment for this video or any of my other videos, and I'll get it out as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.